Hi goats, welcome back to my backyard for another vlog involving yarn. I recently dyed. Um, yes, I changed my hair. Um, been wanting to do it for a while, so I'm like, yeah. Now I look extra queer, which is awesome. There's a fly out here, that's exciting. Landros has a booze receipt now, although he may, may have to move because this is where my boxes are. My, my yarn is in the boxes, so yeah. Anyway, I thought we could hang out with the birds and the airplanes while I put some labels on the yarn I'm going to take to the in-person event later this summer. Some labels, but not all of them because um, the printer is out of black ink, but luckily some of the labels are still still came out good like look at this unexpected art on my art i was going to cut these out with my new um paper cutter which is an amazing thing in there but i thought well i already have the stuff out here to film i may as well just do it while we're talking and that um like that will make it more fun. <laughs> oh, it is nice. I can just like line up the paper and like it, it, it is painstaking, but I only have to do it once because this isn't that many sheets of paper. If I can get them under here. I think that was a crow. Nice. Oh, it might be my housemates. Um, it might be an actual crow that they live around here. Or it might be my housemates' alarms. <laughs> Which is cute. They they have um, their phone set to like the caw caw sound. So. The part where I hope and pray that I find it up correctly. Yay! Oh, two more because actually for some reason the margins are off so I always cut off this part too but now I don't have to do it by hand. Eventually I, I, I could fix that in Canva but right now I'm just like well There's just a lot of work when you're running a business. Okay, yeah, that, that looks good. And the hand cut edges, which is what I was doing before, were charming, but I feel more professional doing a, like, actually straight edge. Wow, I didn't know this thing opened up like that. That would would have been a lot easier, honestly. <laughs> no, you're folding it. I feel like this is too um, narrow to feel like I can cut more than one at a time, so maybe I'll just do that really quick. <laughs> It'll be exciting to see which ones get to have labeled this time and which ones got eaten by the printer. Vampire King was one of the last pages that I printed. Um, so that one's probably out, as well as Joy, um, as well as the 
oddball skeins that I did. But I can at least tell you the names I decided on. Um, the two that I mentioned last time have new names, I think. <laughs> They're all ocean themed, weirdly. to see Voltive, Voltive, Voltive Inanna got at least one of her names, uh, labels in. Still waiting for the, um, the next batch of Knit Picks cotton yarn to come in so I can dye some, um, like the, more of the pride colorways. I'm completely out, out of that right now aside from what, what I have dyed, so hopefully it shows up soon. But my point of sale thing from Wix, which, which is um, what you put on your phone so that you can use your phone as a thing to like ex accept um, credit card payments, did show up, so now I can use that if people don't want to pay with cash at the thing which i mean i i never carry cash so the main branch of my bank is down in southern california <laughs> i mean my personal bank i've changed it to a i have also joined like a local credit union but that's more for my business account so I've just been using the other credit union for so many years, I'm like, I don't really want to change. Last one. And I'm glad I can do this video is so that you can see a better version of um, what the newer batch of yarn that's meant for this event looks like because when I was showing it on the live that I did recently um, the sun was coming in so people couldn't really see the actual colors and um, this setup and like the app I'm using is a bit better at showing the actual colors. Red will probably still be more orangey than it actually is. Like it's, it's a bit cooler. Um, it, it tends to warm up the reds I've noticed like cam cameras do do that. Well done with the paper cutting. <laughs> talking to Ben uh, Ben Benros. oh that's cool there's like a solar flare in the camera I hope that doesn't bother you because I don't really want to change the angle because I would have to probably stop filming and that would involve editing so oh well Vault of, Vault of, Vault of Inanna. I like how this one has a um, totally unintentional bit of purple up here. I feel like that's just part of the story of the yarn. So. Oh, weird. Oh, I guess it printed out the I was going in the in the order of the tabs that were open, and it opened the, the later ones to the left, like the ones I did later in the process. So um, the ones I I did later actually 
are the labels that are going to be good at the moment. <laughs> okay. Which means, um, what was the first one I did? Well, that means the one I need in, no in order to actually ship ship some yarn for the Ace of Cakes gain, um, thanks to the person who bought that. So I will, I will have to reprint that one, but oh well. So this one is Seashell or Day, Daybreak from the Oddballs col um, collection. It was called Daybreak at first, but now I'm like, I, I also added the name Seashell because that's, that's what it looks like to me. And I realized I need like four more of these to like have any hope of storing this yarn, but um, we're just gonna label the yarn that we have um, labels for, and that's probably the yarn I'm gonna put in there because after that I don't want it to get further messed up because I I don't want to undo the um, the um, the the label and stuff. If anyone has an editing program that you um, recommend, which is fairly easy both to learn and like easy on a laptop, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, let me know. <laughs> I was doing pretty good with Di um, DaVinci Resolve, but then it stopped working on my laptop after the update. Searching through skeins of rainbow yarn for this one oddball skein. It was the first yarn mop. There it is. See, it does have that seashell vibe, but also day daybreak, so it's both. And what I usually do is um, I have this roll of labels, which is, has, has apparently been sitting in on a shelf in the house for six years, so I asked if I could use it. At some point, I'm going to have to find out what these are so I can get more, but for right now, and I actually only need half of one to attach the the label to itself. Oh, and since I have the info here, this is a good time to tell you what the um, Cleides Eco Base is. Um, which they do, I, I think they're phasing into the eco base, whereas what I had before with the bamboo was the Pleiades, Pleiades original. But this one is 40% um, tinsel, 40% cotton, and 20% um, elastic. And I think all the other things are, are um, still the same, so it, it still has that like bounce. But yeah, this is... The first, the um, 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 inaugural label. So that's that's fun. I'm gonna drink some of my grape sparkling water. I told this story in um, the live, but like the reason why I'm suddenly all about grape things. And like it, it's weird. I, I I don't like grape flavor um, very much, but I don't hate it, and it's kind of nos um, nostalgic. But also, <laughs> um, besides being in the Hellenic pantheon, um, Di um, Dionysus is also in the Minoan pantheon that I follow, like the the specific um, tradition. That, that I follow. Um, it used to be called 
um, modern um, modern Minoan paganism, but now we've switched the name. Um, 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 Ariadne's tribe. So, um, but, but yeah, he's, um, so in my personal practice, he's the brother or maybe sometimes an alternate face of my patron god. And he's shown up very strongly the past few days in like an awesome but very intense way. So, um, that's why I'm like, hmm, grapes. <laughs> And purple. So, anyway, Vampire King is the next label. I think. Oh, <laughs> my housemate's cat showed up. She's um very loud, as you can tell. She probably wants someone to let her in, but. I'll do that after I finish here. We we have to set kind but firm boundaries with other people's pets. Also, sorry if you can hear the siren in the background. This is real life, y'all. <laughs> So this is one of my current skeins of Vampire King. I think I'm going to try to go more in this direction towards the cotton ones too. Oh my god. She just spooked a squirrel that ran up here. The squirrel is bigger than Banros, I just realized. So anyway, skein one of Vampire King. And the nice thing is I already have this half label because I cut the other half off. super difficult to like not compare yourself to the um, machine perfection that you've been that you've grown up seeing as like the standard because like this isn't that this wasn't made in a factory it is art like a small art um, artisanal thing which is also cool and people love that which is great <laughs> Like, I, I know in general people love that kind of thing, but also I've seen that people love my yarn, so um, th thank you. But, like, the imposter syndrome is... <laughs> oh, next one is Joy. Odd segue, but kind of a nice one. <laughs> be the first skein of joy to get a label. <laughs> that sounds so funny. The first skein of joy. Can I interest you in some joy? <laughs> and now we have a Vault of Inanna label. This one next. I've been asked to always, I mean, by, by, by her, the person this is named after, because she's my, um, she's the goddess that I, that is in charge of my business. So I've been asked to always have Volta Vinana in stock. So I'm about to need to put more in this shop. Um, probably on the cotton base this this time so once that shows up I will let y'all know <laughs> I have dyed it before on cotton just once um, as a um, gift for someone but um, it'll be nice to do more of it like in batches 
what if I took this unlabeled yarn out and put the labels just kind of nested in the safely in the box right now they're piling up around the camera <laughs> on this very tiny table on which is a very tiny coat he's still here he's he's just too too short to to reach the camera <laughs> i feel like he he wants to reassure you that he is um he has not not gone anywhere <laughs> And second, the next label is also Volta Vidana. I think that's because, um, like, when I stack the papers, the, the first, and, and then I cut them apart, like, the, there are three labels per page, so the, the first label on each page will kind of be in a stack. And, um... And I accidentally took the whole label, the, the whole tiny label off instead of the, I guess I'll just awkwardly hold it till I, till I do the next label. Um, but yeah, this is also for Vault of, Vault of, Vault of Inanna because I did two full sheets of that one because I, I did six of these, so... That's why there were two in a row in the stack. It's just so cool seeing my my yarn with my my logo uh, logo and the the labels and stuff. I feel so professional. And next is Red Champion. Speaking of my patron, that's his um, Minoan. That's one of his names in the Minoan side of things. I. You may know he also has other names I know him by, but um, anyway, this is his yarn. <laughs> well, it's yarn inspired by him. It, um, it's the yarn of anyone who wants to buy it. Well, at the in 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 person events anyway. Um, I decided I don't want to deal with. Um, too many bases, like yarn bases, at the same time. So um, the in-person event is getting the cotton fingering weight and also this, which I've dyed, um, just the kind of what I had in stock of the, um, the, um, the Pleiades Eco. Cat is stalking, stalking around not, not like she's stalking someone I'd, um, or, or a bird or something. I, um, I, she's just doing that thing the cats do where she's like, no one must know I'm here. So, good job. I do not know that, that you're here. Where, who, where, what? Okay. Anyway, for similar reasons, I, <laughs> as having two Vault of Inanna in a row. I also have two Red Champion um, labels. But oh, oh yeah, y'all are getting also, at, so you folks who order from the website will also be getting a yarn base that is not going to the event because I don't want to deal with having three that I take to, to, to there and like deciding what to dye on each each type but y'all will be getting a cotton worsted base soon which I did it a second time but at least I'm doing so many labels at once it, it's not too bad to just like hold it on my finger like band-aid or something um, but yeah y'all will be getting um, the cotton worsted base that I'm going to start dyeing as well. So if you prefer um, worsted to fingering weight, that, that will be coming soon. It's 
to a laptop near um, near you. <laughs> oh, next is another Walta Vinana. There's going to be a lot of those because I um, printed them in like batches. Like, I need five of this label, um, six of that label. So, it will really just be whole batches that the printer um, messed up. Like, I, I can see, unfortunately, that at least three, or at, at least two um, labels that were going to go on the Dragonfly yarn are not. Are not ready at the moment but I'll um, I'll still sh show you what they um, look like Wow I put Vault of Inanna on red champion that's awkward. Okay, luckily we can fix that. And the label is still, still, still even sticks, I mean the small label, so that, that's, that's good. And like I'll go through after this and double check <laughs> that all the labels are correctly put. Another Vault of Inanna. So many vaults. Well, really just one. It refers to to the sky because I see her. I think this is like one of her epithets as the um, Queen of Heaven, so. I associate all, basically all these shades of blue with her. Oh, this one's for Joy. Ah, uh -huh, this one. Excuse me while I label my Joy. That's not weird. I think I'm getting faster at this, aside from, like, that one mistake that happened. Another Vampire King. Another one. Where do they keep coming from? <laughs> this one is actually inspired by someone who I know as a god who first appeared to me in my stories as a character, as a the first king of the um, vampires then so at first I was seeing my the gods of my fantasy world as just like not, not even gods really more like the the Tolkien concept of the um, Valar and then I was like hmm, I'm having the characters kind of talk about them as gods and then I I was going more into the like pagan um, the, um, the, um, um, the direction and this is Vampire King, right? Okay. And I was like, yeah, I think they're gods, at least for my characters. No, I think they're gods for me too, somehow. Um, I, I, I don't think it matters how old a myth is for, like, beings that we would call gods to come through and like make contact with us 
So, but it's, it is interesting that some of them have turned out to be, and this is like personal gnosis and stuff, um, have turned out to have pre-existing names and other really old pantheons that I didn't know about, mostly gods that I have also found in this um, um, Minoan path that I follow. So Vampire King is also a reference to the god that I know, not just as the character in my stories, but also as um, a moon god named um, Minos. Yes, like the king, except we we believe and feel that um, that story was a later corruption or retelling, kind of. So. Um, anyway. Speaking of, like, a name that makes me think of him, but it's just that this is one of the oddball skeins. The skein that used to be Deep Silent com Complete, like the Nightwish song, um, I was like, I, I kind of want to give them all ocean names. So this one is um, Moon in in the Deep. Oh yeah, it's one of my other yarn mops. One reason for the ocean theme, um, besides my just loving the ocean in general, is that um, for us, our um, Minoan version of um, d d sorry, excuse me, d um, Dionysus is also called the son of this the sea. So. Even before now, like he 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 would show up every so often in, in in my life and just send me dolphins. Like, here's an unexpected picture of a dolphin. Like in, <laughs> there's a color by number app that I have that has a mystery section. And once I I happen to pick this mystery painting that was a beautiful picture of a leaping dolphin, like against the sunset sky, and I was like, oh okay, cool. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, great. Another label for Red Champion. It's nice that I've found a way that I can record pre-recorded videos again, as well as my lives, because I do like them, but I also feel like I, I have to make sure I'm not, like, talking over or like I'm giving a chance for people to talk if they want to, but also balancing with not letting the conversation go too dead because I'm hosting. <laughs> so since I know there's no one talking like right now as I'm filming, but you're welcome to talk in the comments, of course, um, it's, it's weirdly a lot easier. It kind of makes me think of when I was podcasting with on my other channel which is in the connected channel section if you want to go find um, um, check it out. I talk a lot more about witchy pagan stuff over there. But uh, it got to where I was like, you know, I, I like talking about that stuff, but there's just too much to do at the moment. I, um, oh, here's, here's one with that purple. I often, um, watch YouTube videos while I am working on crochet, because, like, I have to both be watching something and doing something with my hands because, um, I'm, I'm, I'm ADHD, <laughs> but, 
I'd be curious to know what you're working on or like doing housework or something or just hanging out. <laughs> Walter Vinana. This might be the last game of hers. Purple. I, I'm finding, like, even though it's nice to know how to avoid color transfer, like, I mostly can avoid it, and but when it does happen, it's just, I, I feel like, well, it's just kind of part of the story of the yarn. That's, that's what I call this, um, it's a term I picked up from Re um, Rebecca at Chem Chemnitz, C-H-E-N, Knits. She has a yarn dyeing channel. So it's mostly acid dyes and like protein fibers, like wool and stuff, so it's really interesting to see how it differs from dyeing plant fiber. Because um, it's just not possible or f f feasible, I mean, it, it's not practical or even possible for me to wait until the yarn absorbs all of the dye in the dye pan, because I'm dyeing plant fiber with um, what's called f fiber reactive or cold cold water re reactive dyes and also like it it will look like it's bleeding a lot when you rinse it which is why I, I use the washer that's the, that's the only time I say to wash my yarn in the washer <laughs> when I'm doing it when as part of the rinsing the dye out process but um, I have a special way that I do that Right, joy is the next one. But, um... But it'll look like it's bleeding a lot, but it's, um... That doesn't actually mean the color hasn't taken. That's weird. I feel like I must have dropped a skein of joy, my last skein of joy, inside. <laughs> Which sounds so funny. I'm missing joy. So we're, we're gonna look for that later. And see if there's, like I'm hoping it didn't roll under the bench somewhere, but I'm not gonna look for that right now. But let's see what other labels we have. Sadly, all of the labels for um, Lover of, of the Sea um, didn't make it through this batch, which is sad because those are the ones I was currently excited about because they're inspired by um, the um, our um, version of the um, um, Dionysus that I've been um, talking about so because he's also often but not always a like there are there are other people who are this god too there's a god named um, um, the lover who I feel like is often associated with the son of the sea aka Di um, Dionysus but him and his two brothers are kind of with the lover dancer and hunter gods those are their their their, their names in our path um it's kind of like that one scene in or maybe it's m multiple scenes in the black cauldron book when the three witches or the or when and is it orgoch 
now that I know a bit of Welsh, I, I can I I recognize Orthi and Orwin from the um, Mabinogion as the very black and the very white witch, and then I'm guessing the third one is very red, and I think that's that that would be Orgok, but correct me if I'm wrong. But um, <laughs> actual squirrel. I'm not just saying oh squirrel because I'm distracted, but there was a squirrel up there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Vampire King. But it's like when the three of them, the, 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 the three witches who have the Black Cauldron are like, no, it's my turn to be, to be, um, to be, or, um, um, or, oh, he, you were her yesterday. It, it feels like that, but without the, um, um, arguing, where like, and also where m multiple of them can be, more than one of them can be um, lover, dancer, or or hunter, but also they themselves can be more than one at the same time. So like, it 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 just ma makes makes me think of the that that scene in the Black Cauldron book. So <laughs> it's kind of like that. But I do feel personally like if you had to pick the the son of the sea is most connected with the lover name and then like the son of the son who is my patron the son being um the, go the goddess i call sun mom who is some who i also know as inanna hence the yarn i named after her but like i feel like he's the one that's more dancer if, if you had to pick one and then like the third one would be hunter which tangent, <laughs> and by which I mean to, um, devotional poet, um, polytheist, but that's a mouthful. <laughs> right, sea glass is next. Oh yeah, all of my yarn mops I put in this bag along with the rainbow yarns I'm going to show you later. Yeah, there are two very similar, like, green ones, but I can tell this is the right one because it does not have the, um, zip tie and, like, hair thing on it, which lets me know it's the mystery base. Um, because I'm not sure what I want to do yet for the labels of the mystery base. I'm, I, I, I am going to mention, like, so I don't know for sure, but I think this is the Ple Pleiades... Pleiades original, but it could also be the only other one I've ordered from there, which is the Pleiades Eco, but it feels different from the Eco. They, they, they don't feel and look very different, but when I was dying both of them, I was like, yeah, these feel, feel a bit different from the batch of Pleiades Eco that I'm currently dying. Just remembered that that's not the one that I chose to name Sea Glass because it's actually this one. Though I could name this one Sea Foam. No, I think I'm going to name this one fo um, Phosphorescence. To kind of go with the Moon in the Deep theme, so like there's there's a night sea theme <laughs> but um the name sea, sea glass actually came because i with the whole recent thing with um the sun of the sea that was that was happening for me it started with a um term that came up on our um on the discord server where we talk about um, the Minoan um, the polytheist stuff, and the the term isn't really important. But I felt like when I when I saw that term, something sparkled at me, like a bit of sea glass or something in the 
on the shore and th these are the colors that make me think of that so and and it led to something awesome which i didn't didn't know where it would go at the, at the time last label of the ones that i have oh yeah joy <laughs> oh joy um weirdly a label but no yarn so we'll take that inside can you stop biting me thanks showed you um, the dragonfly ones because, or, or may maybe I haven't, but wow, a bird just flew down right like six feet away from me. Anyway, um, this is more of the dragonfly colorway that I'm still not sure that I completely got the, like a similar colorway to the um, that one um, accident, um, um, accident pintle skein, but it's it's close, and I I I love how this came out, and I, and I know how, how to do it, how, how to do it again. So I think I'm probably just gonna keep it like this. So I have five skeins of that at the moment. And four of um, um, lubber of of the sea. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that's like a portmanteau of two of his names, lover and um, son of the sea. But also, it refers to the fact that I love the sea. So, and two more of red champion, which didn't. Um, two of their um, their labels were in the part of the batch that didn't turn out and um, phosphorescence also a yarn mop and then for the mystery base we're almost done but most of them I just did different types of um, rainbows involving the the three um, primary colors. This one started out as like a very loud um, polka dot type of thing, but I I I love the way it kind of softened into, into these um, mossy tones. And I dyed two skeins of that te technique. I know I've shown over there. Oh, may as well show this one. I realized that I wouldn't be able to get the full, sorry, <laughs> the full blend of um, secondary and um, tertiary colors in one skein, so I ex um, because like yellow's over here, blue's over here, so there's no like green in the center. I I would have to dye them like in this loop, and I I find it much I find it much easier to to dye like in a line in, instead of trying to put the skein into thirds because then it's it's hard to keep um keep these separate. <laughs> But um, for this one, I, I did blue, um, magenta, y y y y yellow. And I did a second skein of that. For this one, um, it's one of the more tri um, 
traditional rainbowy ones, like in in the order of the colors, but we don't have purple because the the pink is over here, so or the um, magenta, so here's where we get red, orange, orange, y y y yellow, then like green, blue, but to get purple we, we would have to blend this with this. But I do love how this came out, and I dyed two of these as well. And I have enough storage and like have the labels ready, I'm going to um, finally take these things off and just like put um, put the labels on, but until then I wanted to make sure that I, I know which ones are the um, mystery base. Like, I can sort of tell because it's... The, 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 these are the only rainbows I've dyed like this, but still. <laughs> dyed two of this, which I think is um, yellow, blue, um, magenta. Although the blue came out looking much more green, or like green purple in the um, in the in the middle. second one of that. I actually dyed three of these. I think this is the, the time when I was trying to cover the pan in yarn, but then I found out the pan is too short, so I had to kind of curve them. Um, 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 ironically into a rainbow shape, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I'll probably just do it in the normal way that I um, lay the yarn in the in the pan. Um, this is one of the yarn mops I used for that. Maybe the only one? But yeah, this is the one that I'm probably not going to give an ocean themed name. I'm <laughs> going to name it after a meme, but also like a, like a, a meme based on um, real feelings, but also in a funny way that my um, housemate showed me. It's a like moss gender pride flag um and i'm like the the reason i'm saying it, it, it's a meme is because like each each of each each of the stripes were like my gender is the um bog or like i am i am a um dirt uh i'm the marsh creature and not so, so like it was expressed in a um, funny way but like i you, you know, it's a it's a real feeling, and so I, I was I was thinking I, I would name this no um, no um, no gender only moss, <laughs> which kind of fits in with the rainbow um, yarn because pride. I think I already showed you the other skein of this one, but. It's so bright. Okay, I think that's all the yarn I have, finally. So thanks for hanging out with me um, while I label some of my yarn and just kind of go through and show you what it, what it looks like. And um, I wonder if my the shape part of my head is easier for him to balance on. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Um, He's like a um, saint, saintly goat with the, <laughs> the light coming through. Saint Ban, Banros, yay. Okay, <laughs> have, have a good day um, or night. It's time to goat, goat, goat bye.